Hi, and welcome to this month's editorial video talking about technology in support of meetings and events. When looking at the technology for meetings and events, as with all technology for the hospitality industry, it is a rabbit hole that you can dive a long way down into. But in this video, I'd like to focus more on the distribution elements and technology that can be applied these days. Joining me to give their thoughts on this, Alexandra Weber from Lindner Hotels and Felix Undeutsch. There's many technologies available to this sector, such as virtual and augmented reality, and of course, dedicated apps that can be used. And we've covered these topics as dedicated editorials in the past. However, mice distribution is something that hotels and conference centers are starting to really put more emphasis on. When it comes to hotel rooms, it's already become the norm to book online and at different prices. Yet in the MySpace, reservations are still mainly made by phone. More hotels now offer contact forms on their own homepage for people to make requests for information, and others provide their space availability to certain portals. But of course, this comes with high commissions and need to be paid. Selling meeting rooms is more complicated than selling hotel rooms. Optimal selling of these limited spaces requires various factors that need to be taken into account. The booking volume is usually much larger than for individual room bookings, and in addition, conferences should, in the best case, also increase their room occupancy. Above all, a booking must be quick and uncomplicated. It's crucial that the booking section is designed in a user-friendly way and filled with meaningful information and pictures. It needs to offer opportunities for flexible pricing options as well as additional sales. What factors does MICE distribution cover? Similar to hotel rooms, distribution and selling, meeting space and rooms can also be handled in these ways using dedicated solutions for those spaces. Allowing operators to focus on items such as group business distribution, digital RFP processes, instant booking and instant group request booking, offering real-time rates and availability, distribution channel management for content and rates, and of course, yield management. Today's solutions should offer dynamic pricing with automation, ensuring the implementation of the pricing protocols that are defined by the operator. Yes, there should definitely be PMS integration available also, and algorithms that can calculate daily rates based on incoming and of course, expected demand. For example, a dedicated booking tool. Hotels and conference operators can now digitize the entire conference sales process by bridging together their online inquiries, bookings, and internal sales, and then have quotes generated and sent out automatically. And with that vital element of the PMS integration, operators can also ensure their meeting rooms and spaces are available and bookable in real time and online. Let's also check with Alexandra Weber and see what she thinks. To be honest, I don't know. Considering that nowadays it is possible to book almost anything you want online and directly, it is incomprehensible from my point of view that the process of booking a simple meeting is still so manual. And I'm not talking about larger, more complex events that include additional services such as technology or social programs in addition to the event spaces and rooms needed. According to studies, in Germany, the share of re event requests with a maximum of 30 people is around 70%. And there are already solutions from tech partners out there that allow hoteliers and venues to provide real-time availability and prices for such meetings. However, the prerequisite for the efficient use of such technology is that the hotelier does his homework in advance. And that means he or she must define the strategy and conduct revenue management. Because only the clear sales rules have been defined, these can be translated and applied by a machine. So in many cases, it's a management and training problem. The challenges event departments are facing have increased in recent years. Many booking channels have been added. These channels partly ensure that inquiries reach hotels and venues in a more structured way by guiding the customer systematically through the inquiry process. But on the other hand, the various partners also offer planners the possibility of requesting several hotels at once in a very simple way. In the past, this was much more time consuming process for a planner. It used to be an entirely manual process via telephone or email. Therefore, in some 
um, inquiries than before end up in the event departments of a hotel. But there is still only the same event space available. So it's a matter of firstly thinking carefully about what business I want and also speeding up the quotation process. And this is where automating processes in the MySpace will be of advantage. The time saved from automating event quotes or even turndowns can be used to advise on and sell larger events better. And also time gained can be invested in strategic pricing processes. As I said before, the majority of all event requests are for smaller ones. However, this part of the business generates less revenue than the larger events. Also, small meetings tend to be booked at short note, meaning the event planner wants to know quickly whether their requested meeting room is available and for what price. For larger events, on the other hand, there are so many different aspects that need to be considered and planned besides hotel planning. That's where the booker is prepared for a longer process anyway. They often need an option for the booked location to organize all other services at the same time. Direct booking is therefore unattractive for the, for the customer. We have been using a so-called quote generator at Lindner Hotels and the Me and All Hotels for over five years now. This solution allows us to provide the customer already on the phone with concrete prices and availability for the meeting spaces requested, including the hotel rooms. If they agree to the conditions offered, we send the proposal to them within a few minutes. The planner does not get an option, but is informed that the offer is a snapshot. If they want to make a binding booking, they must do so immediately. Otherwise, availability and prices may change. This process is based on detailed pricing. By that, every employee, even those without budget responsibility, can send us out offers which also simplifies the personal structure in the event departments. We use this quote generator primarily for small meetings and so-called standard business. However, each hotel decides for itself what number of attendees is meant by small. In addition, we are currently working on a pilot project with a technology partner that will enable us in the long term to bundle all of our MICE distribution channels on one interface and send our offers through it. This can be done manually or automated. Soon we will also be able to have incoming bookings feed directly into our sales and catering systems. And this will be a huge advantage in two ways. First, it will save us a lot of time. And second, we will be able to capture the complete demand across all channels. That in turn provides the basis for a perfect pricing strategy. Felix Undeutsch is on the other side of the spectre as a solutions provider. Let's see what he says about this. So the biggest opportunity I really see when it comes to uh, consolidating data and standardizing data. And um, the reason why I'm saying that is because there's a problem with that currently. So the biggest challenge really hotels have is there are a lot of RFPs coming in from all sides, a lot of different formats from a lot of different portals, a lot of different sources. And this is really a really, really difficult process for hotels because they have then to go into their systems, get prices, get availability, get terms and conditions and put it into all of the different channels. Um, so I th see really the biggest opportunity in standardizing that process, standardizing everything around pricing, availability, terms and conditions when it comes to bookability of meetings. And that really will drive um, first happiness of the operational staff in the hotel because um, they have less um, hustle, they have less pain um, uh, during the whole process. One, it drives happiness. Um, secondly, I believe it drives massive efficiency um, uh, in terms of hotel staff being able to respond faster, in some cases being able to automatically push prices and availability to some so this reduces massively um, response times, which ultimately reduces costs for hotels um, and or allows hotels to focus on segments where they can less automate. As an example, big, large meetings. So they will take um, time safe from smaller meetings and put it into bigger meetings where they really have to consult. So it's about cost reduction um, and, and really consulting the customer. 
And also, last but not least, I believe if you automate um, these processes, drive efficiency through automated pricing, automated availability into a currently manual world, you will ultimately increase conversion rate, which drives revenue. So it's really these three opportunities I see uh, making um, operational staff more happy, decreasing costs and increasing revenue uh, by automating um, the currently pretty key process in the meeting world. Yeah, so the biggest challenge is, as I just described, the process currently is super manual and that has various different reasons. One of the reasons is that um, the industry is super fragmented. You see a lot of different players, a lot of different portals, a lot of different tech actors in that space. And there is no standardization in terms of pricing and in terms of availability when it comes to, to meetings. So if you compare it to lodging, there is a standard and the standard um, as it currently is, is room types and, and rate plans. That's something that everyone operates with, room types and rate plans. And we don't really have um, a general concept um, when it comes to meeting prices. I mean, we sometimes talk about DDRs as an example, daily delegate rates, but this is different per market. Um, there is no definition of what a DDR can contain or cannot contain. So there is no standardization, no general understanding um, of everything in regards to pricing and availability. So that's the massive challenge plus the fragmentation and that needs to be overcome. That's what I see really as the, as the biggest challenge here. First of all, I believe technology always has to has to serve the business uh, or the customer or, or a certain pain I have. So technology itself is, is, is meaningless, is arbitrary. You know, I mean, this is everything around artificial intelligence, blockchain, whatever it is, uh, whatever hype you have, it doesn't it doesn't mean anything as long as you cannot find a use case that is relevant for the business or for a customer or or any real life problem. Um, that said, I do not believe that there is currently a massive use right here, right now for uh, artificial intelligence, machine learning, natural language processing, whatever, um, in the mice world. Having said this, I, I definitely see use cases. Um, use case number one might be something around um, structuring unstructured data into structured data. So unstructured to structured. Uh, example might be emails. Yeah, I'm receiving a shitload of emails for meetings right now as a hotel. Can I somehow through text mining, natural language processing, can I structure that in a format that I can process it faster? Give an example. If somebody writes an email, hey, I'd like to book a meeting on the 25th of August, 20 people. Can I push this unstructured information? Can I extract that unstructured? Can I extract the data points? and can push this as an example already in my property management system as a lead. 25th of August, 30 people, this, this is the, the requester. That might be one use case, structuring data, one, to ultimately uh, increase efficiencies. Second use case might be everything around forecasting um, based on historic patterns, as an example, or other data points, everything around uh, forecasting when it comes to um, occupancy, pricing, whatever. Might be a second use case, a little bit slightly more sophisticated lately. Uh, and another use case I might see is um, everything around scoring, as an example. So. I'm, I'm receiving a lead coming in from a person who wants to book a meeting and based on different data points of that lead, um, I can likely predict, forecast, okay, what's the chance of winning that business? What's the chance of converting that business from a, from a lead to a transaction? Um, these kind of things, so everything in regards to lead scoring. Um, so again, there might be other use cases, you know, I just named three. Uh, but long story short, currently, I don't think it plays a massive role. Um, there are use cases and out there. We have to think about these, but technology itself always has to serve a use case. Technology itself is otherwise arbitrary. Hoteliers or event staff typically weigh up which requests can be offered or rejected based on certain conditions. However, this costs time and also takes too long for the booker. In today's digital age, transparency and speed is really important. Real-time offers, which have long been the norm for selling hotel rooms, are really now the future for mice as well. This means change and effective change management processes have to be implemented in order to really benefit from this. In the long run though, operators will see efficiency in sales, significantly less personnel expenditure and up-to-date technologies, and of course occupancy rates and revenues being more efficiently managed. The mice sector of our industry is changing and progressing and has without a doubt been severely hampered by the COVID crisis. But as we have seen often in other areas of a hotel business, technology waits for no one and is moving forward at an ever increasing speed.
It's ever changing, dynamic, and once a breakthrough solution becomes known, there is typically no looking back. It's an exciting time with great potential for the my sector, but it does require agility, proactive thinking, and looking at new ways of working. Thanks for watching, and as always, thank you for your support. If you haven't already, make sure to check out the article, listen to the podcast, and review the infographic. Until next time, it's bye for now.